Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, before we start our video, I want to remind people that please copy my videos, download them, and post them everywhere. Uh, I have no problem with you guys posting my videos everywhere as long as you don't claim to be me. All right? So feel free download all the videos I'm, I'm making. I, you know, I'm not really interested of having a big number of subscribers as much I am interested in spreading the truth. So please spread the truth and the truth will set everyone free. Uh, I am not doing my work for my glory. I'm doing it for the glory of the truth and the truth is our Lord the Messiah. So copy my videos, post in wherever you want, download them and post on YouTube, Facebook. It doesn't matter where. This is your business. But just don't claim to be you who is talking there and don't change. Anyway, so now we will talk about one more Abdul to go. Uh, someone is asking this guy, supposedly he's a scholar. I can't tell he's a scholar because uh, as long as they give you a chair and they have a camel urine in front of you, I don't know, this is camel urine or like, I don't know why Muslims are not practicing drinking camel urine. By the way, yesterday I saw in the news that uh, the, the, health, the, the United Nations Health Department uh, warned people from drinking camel urine and camel milk. Even camel milk, there is a warning about it. So, uh, but yet the Prophet of Islam, he said camel urine is very healthy and uh, uh, God help us. So if you want to have a kidney failure, if you want to have a poison in your blood, uh, drink what the, what the Prophet of Islam, he said. Now in this verse here, someone is asking, can you explain to us uh, the chapter uh, of Isra, verse number uh, 73? Chapter of Isra is chapter number 17, uh, by order of uh, making the book, not order of revelation. As you know, Quran uh, today is not the same way as given to Muhammad by order. The order of revelation, as Muhammad claimed, is different. However, let us hear the interpretation or the explanation of this verse, and then we will go and see why Islam cannot be from God. Based in what they will say. Allah Azza wa Jal will not be a nasir for you, will not give you uh, the support. Let me go from the beginning actually. So we can hear better. Jazakallah khair. There are a few ayat on this, uh, uh, around this point, uh, which says, uh, they almost pushed you away. Yaftinunak means they. They almost, remember, this is a translation, not my translation. Almost, they pushed you away from Islam. Almost. So almost, almost. Almost means almost. Almost it means like maybe one centimeter more and you are out of Islam. This is mean Muhammad was under the influence of those who they are around him and almost he is out of Islam. Remember that. They push you away from what we have revealed to you or part of it. From what we reveal to you or part of it. So if, either way, by the way, if he's, uh, he pushed away from part of it or all of it, it's the same because in Islam either you take it all or you reject it all. So Muhammad almost became not a Muslim. However, Muhammad is not a Muslim anyway because Muhammad, he have a doubt of his belief. You don't believe he's a prophet and the Quran says so. This is the chapter 10 verse number uh, 94. And the verse saying clearly that Muhammad, he have he's a question in his faith. He's a question if he is even he's a prophet. So if you are in doubt, O Muhammad, about what which we reveal to you, then ask those who have been reading the scriptures before you, which means the Christian and the Jews. If you if you think about this carefully, you need to ask yourself a few questions if you are a Muslim, a few questions if you are a Christian too. <laughs> Why Muhammad is in doubt of what is revealed to him? What is the problem? It's not convincing? How come Muhammad, an angel, appeared to him, squeezed him three times? And this is this verse, by the way, is almost this is chapter 49 by order of revelation, not by uh, uh, like some they say it's 50, some they say it's 49. However, in, in the Quran today it's chapter 10, but by revelation it's chapter number 49 or 50. So after 49 or 50 chapters, Muhammad is still he is not sure he is a prophet. And then Allah says to him, if you don't, if you are not sure you are a prophet, go and ask those who read the scriptures before thee. Who are they? Those are the Christian and the Jews. And all of us, we know that Christians and Jews, they rejected Muhammad for that. 
they, they, they gave him the, his opinion already. They said to him, you are a false prophet. And actually, this is a contradiction of a different verse in the Quran where Allah, he says that, uh, that the Christian and the Jews, they will not be happy with you unless you accept their belief. So it's a very full of contradictions, stupid book. However, how Muhammad here, he is in doubt of his belief and he is already delivered 49 chapters to us. How come he is not sure he is a prophet and he delivered to us 49 chapters, not verse? And then this guy, he says to us in the video that almost the disbelievers made Muhammad disbelieve. Well, Muhammad already don't believe. Because if Muhammad is a believer, he will not be have a doubt about what he believe in. This is not what a, what, a, what a faithful man he would do. However, what he said in the video is a contradiction for other verse in the Quran. Before that, this is the verse he recite for us, chapter 17, verse number 73. And they are always, almost, you know, they were able to, to success, to tempt you to go out of Islam. This is what he said. And, uh, and if you, if you uh, accept what they are saying to you, for sure they will take you as a friend. Which is very false, by the way, because, uh, you know, for me, I don't have a problem really with taking anyone as a friend, even if he's an atheist. Uh, as long as he doesn't believe in something evil to do to a friend. Friendship, if you respect that, he is a loyal, he is not. He will not do something from my back, then I, you can be my friend, because what the friend is about is about being loyal to each other. However, in Islam, Muslims are only loyal to, 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 to Muslims and to Islam, not to non-Muslims, and we know that. Therefore, we reject a Muslim to say to us that you are a friend because we know he's lying to us, as a chapter 5, verse 51 saying, as chapter 3, verse 28 saying, as chapter... 9 verse 23 saying and many other verses however here as long he the, in the video he admitted that Muhammad almost was deceived by those people almost all right then we need to ask ourselves how this happened almost he was deceived and remember Muhammad already been deceived actually according to the Quran because he received uh, uh, verses from the Quran he received verses from the Quran. What this verse is here saying that uh, uh, almost, almost he became out of Islam, which means 99% almost not a Muslim. Then suddenly he switched and he became, he decided not to do that. But then we see a verse in the Quran saying, in chapter 5, verse number 67. O Messenger, announce that which has been revealed to you from your Lord. And if you don't, then you have not conveyed the, the, his message. Well, this is funny. This is stupid. If you don't, did not convey it. So we know that. Anyway, and Allah will protect you from people. So here, if you ask any Muslim here the word Ya'asumuka, uh, uh, what that word mean? He will say, it means Allah will protect you only about Islam, only about the religion. Which means you will never make a mistake when it's come to religion. You will never make a mistake when it's come to Allah uh, 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 revelation. You will never make a mistake when you make Allah. Because remember, Muhammad, the Quran says, whatever the Prophet he give you, you take it. Whatever he uh, uh, ask you to forbid, you forbid. So you are protected from Allah. So you will not make an error or a mistake by making something forbidden or allowed or making a law, or even preaching the, the word of God, or even saying it, or reciting it. However, we know that Muhammad, he received satanic verses, which means this one is false. But Muslim, they can say, well, here the protection is only from people, not from uh, Satan. Then we will let it go. However, he just admitted that the people already, almost, almost Muhammad, he became not a Muslim. Almost. And we saw the verse Muhammad himself is not even protected from himself because he himself, he have a doubt about his belief. He don't believe he's a prophet. And Allah told him, go and ask the Christians and the Jews if you are a prophet or not. As we saw in this verse here, if you are in doubt, Muhammad, go and ask the Christian and the Jews. And we know what the opinion of the Christian and the Jews. However, that will lead us to a bigger problem. What is the problem? If we go to chapter 66, verse number 1, we will see a big problem here. Muhammad, he making a law which is not approved by Allah. But we just saw in the other verse, Allah saying, He will protect you from making false law. Just, you know, you convey, if you convey my message, huh, I will protect you so you will not be deceived. You will never give something, give something wrong. 
And Allah said to Muhammad in a different verse in the Quran, or he said to the Muslims, whatever Muhammad he give you, you take, whatever Muhammad he, he, he forbid you, you, you forbid. And now Allah here, we will see that Allah making a verse for Muhammad saying, Oh Muhammad, why you forbid yourself what is made lawful for you? So here Allah is saying that Muhammad was very wrong in this and he should not do that and this is haram. So Muhammad, he broke the law of Allah himself because remember Muslims, the one who make what is unlawful, lawful is not a Muslim. The one who make what is unlawful, lawful is not a Muslim and the one who make what is unlawful, lawful is the same as like a if I make it, uh, if it's lawful, I make it unlawful. It's not a, it's, this is not Islam. I'm, I'm corrupting Islam. I'm corrupting the teaching of Allah. So actually what happened here, because some people will ask themselves, why Allah is saying that if Islam is false? Why Allah is saying that to Muhammad if, if Islam is false religion? Why this guy is saying that? Simply, this is was for the benefit of the testicles of Muhammad. Muhammad, he, he came to his wife's house and he took one of the slaves and he was having sex with her in the bed. So the wife, she came and she found him in the bed, in her bed. So she was so upset, she made a strike against him. She made a big fight. It's, isn't it enough that you are screwing around everybody and you are doing it now in my bed? So Muhammad, he promised Aisha that he will not, some they say it's Hafsa, it's depending on the interpretation. Uh, 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 anyway, so he promised that I'm not, I'm not going to do that. Some they say he promised both Hafsa and Aisha, he will never do that again because they made a strike against him. Uh, uh, however, whoever the one is, is the one who did that to him or to her, uh, Muhammad himself, himself here, he's making a promise to his women just to cool them down. I will never sleep with those slaves again. I promise you. I promise you. I will never that. So he made it forbidden. And later, Muhammad, he missed those females. He cannot stay without them. They are beautiful. They are young. They are, they are you know, they are fresh. So Muhammad, he had to come with his ex excuse. And Allah always is ready there. This is why you see Aisha in the hadith, she said that I see your God, he rushed into your desire, Muhammad. And why she said that? Because right away he made this verse to support his desire. Same as he made the verse about marrying the, 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 the wife of Zaid. Same as many verses he made about Allah, he, he, he made lawful to Muhammad any Muslim woman she gave herself to have sex with her. So Allah always worked for the desire of Muhammad. However, this is not our topic really. The topic here, if Muhammad is protected from making false law, if Muhammad is protected from being deceived, if Muhammad was protected from making false statement about God, about law, how this thing happened. And this is a very clear contradiction for the Quran and very clear that Muhammad is nothing but a fabricator. He makes verses just for his sexual desire, upon his desire, the one he wants, the way he likes, anytime he wants. This is Islam and I hope you guys you did learn something about how Muhammad he make Islam. All is coming from his testicles. Attack the Roman and get the blonde girls. That's what he said. Let us attack the Roman to get the blonde girls, not to spread Islam, not to fight for the sake of Allah. Islam is not about God. Islam is about Muhammad. He want to have more, more women, more wealth. Muhammad establishing a kingdomship of himself and he made himself God. That's why he changed his name from Qatham or Qatham, as some they say, and the praised one. Muhammad became the praised one. Muhammad means the praised one. He's playing God. This guy, he pray, he play God in earth. He is God on earth for those Muslims, Abdul. This is why you see, if you are a Muslim and you curse Allah, you might be forgiven. But if you curse the Prophet, you must be killed for sure. This is how disgusting, stupid this religion is. And if you are a Muslim, you are following the pagan Muhammad. You are worshiping Muhammad. Muhammad, he kiss a black stone. So both of you are the same. Go and kiss a stone. Walk around the stone, bow to a stone, pray to the direction of a stone. You Muslims are stone worshippers and Muhammad is your God. Thank you. Follow with me with more videos.